how to configure SNMP network management protocol or SNMP. I've got some notes here. Um, I've got I got this from from these links. So by default, the protocol does the SNMP a, SNMP agent and manager or server will communicate with is UDP. The SNMP agent is listening to the default SNMP port number 161, and the manager is listening to 162. Uh, MIB. Uh, MIB is management information base, which is basically a hierarchical database in a managed device. So in this example, a switch containing variables specific to that device. Uh, this is basically, I mean, this is the topology that, topology that I'm going to use in this video, um, which can be provided to or configured from an SNMP manager, which is this one. Object identifier, or OID, a component of a MIP containing a collection of variables, which can be queried or by or configured from from an SNMP manager. And this is how you configure it. Step one is you create, you can create a access list uh, to specify the authorized uh, management servers. Uh, let me just say this, servers. So I can go to switch one or SNMP agent and I can just say create an access list. And of course, its IP address is this one. So permit and then deny any log. Log, and then, oops. Step two is this is you. I mean, this is where you define community lists. Basically, community list How about a string. <clears throat> uh, uh, I.e. passwords. Basically, passwords that will allow RO or read-write access to the agent-defined uh, to the server, not agent, to the servers, SNMP servers defined in the SNMP access list. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Hi, correct, actually. Agent, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hold on, this should be shared servers. SNMP servers. Because this, these are SNMP servers, right? Define community strings, password that passwords that will allow read only or write access to the SNMP servers defined in the SNMP uh, access list here, which is what we this is what we configured here. Okay, and we'll just copy and paste this, or let me just question mark, read only, that's the string. And then RO, and then name of the SNMP access list, which is RO, oh, ACL. And then configure agent to 
know where to send uh, all SNMP traps <coughs> or informs. So in this case, we are just uh, enabling traps. So I'm going to just configure this. So if you don't configure number, step three, um, the manager can only uh, query the SNMP agent and agent can respond to the query. But uh, if you want, if you want the agent here in this case to be able to con to send traps, you should configure step number three, which is what we are doing here. Yeah. So host. Traps. Yeah, you can either send traps or informs. Version two. That's two C read only. This is the string. Let me do it this way. So I know that it's something that I specified. Okay. And then you enable the uh, traps. So by default, it will enable all the traps. So if I If I show run, so this is the access list that we created, and this is where we apply it. And then see here that all of the traps are enabled. I mean, the traps are enabled to a lot of objects here. Oh, this there's another, let me delete this. Okay. Okay, and this is the commands that you can use to monitor SNMP status. So you can just obviously say show SNMP, and you can see the SNMP logging here uh, enabled. So nothing is sent, nothing is dropped because, of course, this SNMP manager or server is not uh, configured with the community string. So that makes sense, right? I'm just showing you these commands that you can issue to uh, verify or monitor SNMP. Yeah, so manager, SNMP manager not enabled. Yeah, whenever we did not configure the SNMP manager. Okay. UDP port, yeah, 162. So the server is listening to 162 and the agent is listening to our client is listening to 161. Of course, you can do this command as well. 
a lot of SNM PMIBs. I'm gonna cancel that. Yeah, looks like this command is not supported in this version. Yeah, that's how you can configure SNMP network management protocol or just SNMP.